What up, Nick from Fisherman Source with a little sea bass video for you. Just gonna run through a couple things real quick. I like to keep it real simple. Jig on the bottom, teaser on a dropper loop. What jig, what teaser, that's personal preference. This this teaser seems to work really well. Chris from the store actually ties these up. He's been making these a long time. Any Sandilla type teaser, but play around with it. This is a Savage. This jig worked really, really well this year. Or I'll use a normal diamond jig or the Mantis Bay anchovies, like a little flutter jig. Uh, again, I'll say that this is for not for slow pitching. When I when I do fish a slow pitch jig, something like this, I'll fish it by itself on a bait caster on a slow pitch rod. Uh, no teaser. That's a video for another day. The terminal setup, 15 pound braid. I like to go real light, so I could use light jigs. 20 pound fluoro. This is just hard enough to stand off from the leader just a little bit. I really don't deviate from this setup much. I might change the jig a little bit. Might change the teaser. Another thing that works really well is just a diamond jig or any jig on the bottom and a, a bait holder and a gulp sand deal. Sometimes that really, really works. Just thread the gulp sand deal onto the bait holder. Jigging for sea bass, it's gotten much more popular because it's fun, you know, they're tasty fish, a little bit more engaging, a little bit more interesting. So again, basic dropper loop setup. I will use a clip on the bottom where I'll just tie it and then I'll go about, I don't know, 18 inches, two feet up. And it's as simple as that. Till next time, keep them tight, we'll see you.